Hey, what's up, you guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video. So, we are standing here by this barn and this shed. We got a little something sitting here. So, we uh, picked up a couple pickups. A uh, guy had two pickups sitting out by the road, and uh, he offered me a deal, basically trading our Cummins in for the two pickups we got here. So, here we have the. Uh, old Ford 460 uh, dually old, uh, it says F-150 but this would be an F-2 or an F-350 uh, and this is hooked to the Prairie Bale trailer and then we got the uh, Z-71 K-1500 so we're going to go ahead and hop in this guy here uh, i got to grab my controller oops sitting on the wire for the mouse Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go over here to our rake and get started on some more raking. So, <clears throat> got the updated, or got the version of the hay buster from a buddy of mine. And it will not grind the hay or grass bales uh, out of the John Deere baler. It'll grind the straw bales, but it won't do um, grass bales. So, um, I talked to someone and they said they had had a similar issue one time and they found it to be the, uh, the variable bale capacity or whatever, um, mod it is. So, I'm going to do some testing and see if, if I take that out, if our bales will stay 4,000 liter bales. And um, see if it'll grind them then or what. Um, not too sure. Hopefully just taking that out will work. Um, I'm not too sure exactly. So we'll have to try that out and see what happens there. Um, see if maybe that's the issue. So I'm going to, after this video... Um, check that out and see if that's the issue and if it is cool um, if it's not then I don't know what we'll do um, I've tried adding because it didn't have like grass bales as a fill type so I added dry grass into the fill types that still didn't do it um, and like I said, it'll grind the straw bales, but it won't do the hay or grass bales. And I don't know what the difference is in the two. So I don't know why they're, why it'll do one, but not the other. Cause they really are no different. But I guess it is what it is. Uh, so we're getting closer and closer to being done raking. Uh, I had tried making a video and did a little raking and then realized it wasn't recording. Um, it had stopped itself partway through for some reason, so I don't know what its deal was there. <clears throat> so now everybody enjoyed that video I did of the projects I got going and then uh, like the video said that I did yesterday a little that little video uh, telling you guys why well, I haven't been active the last few days but hopefully we'll be uh, changing that hopefully I'll be able to get some more videos out for you guys again
but I guess uh, time will tell. Yeah, I don't really want to try making any more bales yet until I find out what exactly is causing the issue. Yeah. It's like if it's the variable bale deal, um, I don't want to be making a bunch of bales and they're a different size or you know a different capacity and don't work quite the same. I don't want that to be the case, so. Like I said, I'm going to do some more testing on that. See if I can't figure out what exactly the deal is as to why it won't grind uh, the bales. Figure out what's causing it. If it's a conflict or something. Because it's got to be something. I just don't know what. I mean, it's kind of irritating. Uh, not being able to figure it out. So... I guess I probably should have done this a little bit differently. I should have uh, raked all these passes and then done that second headland, but oh well. It'll be fine. We'll get it all picked up when we bail, so. So it'll be A OK. -okay. So hopefully we can get, maybe get this field raked fully in this video. Because uh, if we can get this one raked, that leaves two more fields left to rake. Yeah, there's still no news yet on uh, the Millennial Farmer map. Uh, as far as I and most everyone else are concerned, it's still being tested, so... I guess uh, only time can tell on that one as to when that's going to be coming. Uh, I know North Dakota Modern Mapping, they put, they're put they putting their uh, Will Rich... Uh, set up on Patreon uh, here coming up um, March 1st I believe it was that that will be on their Patreon and then uh, a while after that it should be out to the public um, I think was it the end of this month I heard that they were releasing the North Dakota or the their 64x map? I'm not sure. I don't know if it was the end of this month or the end of next month, something like that. I know that I heard uh, that they'll be releasing the 64x map. <clears throat> I think it was end of next month, maybe. So that one I'm definitely looking forward to, and. Our rake is freaking skipping again. Not sure why this rake is doing this. Never really had this issue with it before. So I don't know why it's being like this now.
<clears throat> this thing is definitely going to need a bath when we get done hauling hay. That is for sure. I do still got to go in and uh, get rid of that collision on those busters tanks. Um, so that way we can actually drive past there and drive up to them to fill stuff and not hit that. Uh, I just haven't gotten around to doing that. I haven't really gotten around to doing a whole lot. So... I have to uh, try and start getting some stuff done here again. I'm hoping we get a decent amount of bales off of the remainder of this hay. Like I talked about before, probably just going to end up doing a second cutting anyways. So. I just know that I am ready to be done putting up hay because once hay is done, the next thing will be our wheat harvest. So. I'm definitely ready for harvest season. It's going to be a busy time though. Because we'll have wheat harvest. By the time that's done, we'll probably be either getting into soybean harvest or we'll be cutting more hay. Well, we got soybeans, we got our sunflowers, we got our corn to get chopped and combined. Got a lot of stuff to do this fall. So we'll be able to get started over there on that field as well. So we'll probably only have one more video of raking yet, which uh, won't be too bad. It'd be nice to have it done and over with. He's got one more pass on this one, and we'll have this field done. Of course, we missed that bit. I mean, I should really be raking end rows and then go back and bale them up and then come back and rake, but it's farm sim. I thought I could pick that bit up, but I can't. Oh, well. It'll be fine, I guess. Alright, we got that one done. Now let's go over here and... Sneak back into that other field and get started on that one there.
see how well we can get in here with uh, this guy. Let's see where it is. There it is. Okay. I can even get in here. Oh boy. This might be harder than I thought to get in here. There should really be another gate. In all honesty. There we go. This one shouldn't take us too terribly long to rake either. This one's not overly big, so... The field we just raked and the field we have left to rake are kind of our two biggest hay fields, so... Tractor definitely gonna need fuel too when we get done using it. She's starting to run low. Well, not quite yet. Still got about half of a tank in it. Try and make this corner here. There we go. <clears throat> Definitely did these corners a little goofy. With the swather there. That's alright. I am not too worried about it. Like how this outer windrow is like perfectly smooth and everything, and then you get to the next one, it's just like dotted. Looks kind of ridiculous. This thing's really not wanting to pick up now on this side. That's kind of irritating. There it's going now. Don't know what its deal is. Alright, one more pass after this, and we'll have this field done and over with, too. There really should be a different way in and out of this field. Like, something where you can get in and out of here easier, because this is, like, really, really tight. Why are you being so stupid right now, Rake? I don't know what this Rake's deal is.
Now we get the fun task of getting this thing out of here. It's definitely going to be a chore to try and get hay hauled out of here, but probably just going to end up coming in here with the tractor and just having the pickup parked outside of it. Outside of the field here. And then we'll just kind of sneak it in. So let's raise this guy all the way up just to try and sneak out of here. And now we're caught on the roof. Perfect. Let's see if I can't like sneak this thing in here some. And then sneak it out. Come on. Darn thing. Well, I might have just completely screwed us. So we're going to have to go and do this because I'm going to turn that on. And we're going to grab the rake and pull it sideways a little bit. Because otherwise I'm not too sure just how I'm going to get this thing out of here. Oh, you son of a gun. Yeah, there should really be another entrance, because this is straight barbed wire here, isn't it? Yep. I can't really get... Oh, wait. Hey. Does this open? No, it don't. Dang! Here I thought I could get through that way. No! Don't get hung up on the roof. Come on. There we go. I just want to get through. That is all that I want. I know, super unreal, super realistic way of uh, moving equipment around, right? Just grab onto it and pull. All right, let's get up here. We still got another six minutes, so. I might have enough time to make a couple uh, end rows on this field. I definitely wish there was an access way into here without having to go into the freaking soybeans, but unfortunately there is not. Alright, and here we go. Whoa. I'll get too off course here. Yeah, we should be able to get the end rows done on this field here yet. This field for sure will give us a few good few bales off of it, so that'll be kind of nice.
be nice if I could get it raked up in first person view, but fortunately I can't. Just because of how big of a pain in the butt it is. More so with this tractor. There's some tractors where you can see well enough to do it in first person, but this one, not so much. So far we're doing pretty good. It would be nicer if this game worked a little more realistically in terms of its windrows where they don't, you know, they're not in a grid like they are. They just kind of fall wherever. Oh, come on. No. That's not happening. This whole grid thing is kind of stupid, if you ask me. The way that it makes hay fall. Just kind of dumb. But, it is what it is, I guess. I'm sure they can only do limited things with a game. Now we'll go back up here to the top. And the rest of this field shouldn't take too terribly long to rake. And we'll probably be able to get a little more done today. And then in tomorrow's video we'll be able to finish it up. And probably get started on some baling. That's the uh, hope anyways. I would hope that we'd be able to get started on baling. And hopefully by then I have... Uh, figured out what's going on with our bales and our grinder I mean I would like to use the grinder but I guess if I absolutely can't then just won't all right there's our timer so we'll go ahead we'll get the rake turned around here get it dropped and ready for tomorrow's video Alright, there we go. That is going to do it for today, guys. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the channel. Be sure to subscribe if you like what you see. Make sure to turn on the post notifications if you have not already. 
to be notified every time I upload a new video. Make sure you check out down below in the description for my PC specs, all of my social medias, my upload schedule, as well as links to all of my, all, a bunch of other YouTube channels that we're taking a look at. Thanks everybody for watching, and as always, we'll see y'all tomorrow.